Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. Today we're going to do something on the off-highway module of Texa. And this would be hooked up to a 2016 Link Belt, which is a big crane truck and it has an FPT engine in it. So we want to give you a little indication of what exactly you can see and do on these industrial engines. So first of all, the very first screen we're on is parameters. And right now we actually have a truck, uh, the vehicle running. You can see the RPMs are changing up here. The red uh, will give you the low value while you've been connected to the ECM. The green will give you the high value. So as we go through this list, you kind of get a good idea of all of the uh, just various sensors, readings, position switches that you can see on this particular vehicle. And obviously, as I said, in the upper left corner, you'll see where it says there's 71 different parameters that are being displayed. So a very good list of everything that you can see on it. Over on the dashboard, if this vehicle has one, it does. It'll give us a little bit more of a graphical representation of what's going on with this vehicle in terms of RPMs and some of these sensor values. There's actually four different dashboards. So there's dashboard number one, and there is dashboard number two. Looks like something to do with the turbo and the air and intake system. Number three, it's looking at our exhaust system. And the fourth dashboard, it looks like the Add Blue system. If I click over here on faults, this particular vehicle, it's a brand new one sitting on a lot. There are no fault codes, active or inactive. If they were on here, you would see them. You'd be able to view the actual code number along with any other information. The ECU info tab, this is going to tell us a little more information about that particular ECU, including the control numbers, serial numbers, any kind of uh, software versions as well. All the good stuff, the things that people want to see, are over in this activations and settings tab. So if I go over here to activations, some of the tests you can run are like the cylinder performance test, compression tests, uh, engine temperatures, any of these things you want to do. All you would simply do is just click on it and then hit the start button and you'd be in that test being able to run it. The settings tab is going to have a lot more commands that you can run as well. So here's some of the things that you can do uh, when you replace a bunch of these sensors. You do have to run some commands to do it. The ones that say weblock means two things. One, you need to sign a release form one time with Texa. And two, you do have to be on the internet to run those commands. You can explain those more in depth for people that need an explanation, but you do have to do those two things in order to run them. So again, this is very quickly a 2016 FP engine on a 2016 link belt. Thank you for watching.